Um, so there's a short aside here that I want to do, and we're, we're going to be uh, going off the roads just a little bit, but I swear we're going to be coming back to Salty. Okay. Have you heard about the big Oklahoma teacher walkout? Yes. Yeah. All over the news, like there are vice news people in our state taking cool. a big close look and, and CNN and all of these fucking people. So, yeah, um, this Monday is the day for the teacher walkout. And um, the Shawnee school district has already said that there's no school on Monday. So there's definitely no school on Monday. They are... Maxwell's teacher said today, it's like, okay, honey, have, have a fun weekend. We don't have school Monday, but we'll see you on Tuesday. And I'm, I'm not sure if that's happening right now. We have no idea what's happening. We know the kids aren't going to school on Monday, but beyond that, we don't know. They actually sent us, and I think I have it right here. Do I have it right here? Yeah. Um, they sent us bus schedules in the event of a walkout that will last a long time, kids can still catch the school bus and go to the schools to get breakfast and lunch. Okay. Because the schools are still going to be like feeding kids. So if Bella wakes up in the morning, that will be a miracle. Yeah. Yeah, they, they just being honest. But if you woke up in the morning and you're like, I'm hungry, you can, can just catch the freaking bus and it'll take you to the school. You can have breakfast and then take the bus back home. They've said something, they've said like so many things about like kids, like their students not being able to like eat because like they're not being provided with it or they don't have enough money. Most they're kids. They're really freaking holding on to that idea. Well, there are a lot of kids for whom they don't get breakfast or lunch unless they're going to school, is what I keep hearing all over the place. That that these uh, kids get the majority of their food from going to school. Yeah, but people in my school, uh -uh. it's more it's more of child abuse. They get they get their food. Yeah. They just they just don't get good parents. So this is the reason why this walkout is happening. Our state is controlled entirely by Republicans and Tea Partiers. Uh -huh. And the, the reason why they were elected in the first place is they said, I will guarantee you, unlike our Democratic uh, opponents who want to spend all of your hard-earned money on, on things that you don't believe, I guarantee you there will be no new taxes. No new taxes at all. Zero taxes. There are no new taxes. There will be no new taxes whatsoever. In fact, I am signing this contract right now. This contract that this organization has made. And this, when I sign this, then I will be 100% dedicated to the idea that I will never pass any taxes at all while I am working for you here in the government. So, so then the, a, a large portion of our of our state's revenue comes from uh, oil and gas. Yeah. But then when that fizzled out, the state quickly ran out of money and we're just cutting agencies and cutting organizations and, and things are closing and it, it, it's really dire straits. And so the teachers are like, are like hey, we have no money. We we haven't gotten a raise. You keep you keep cutting our you're cutting our pay, and then you're cutting the money that we're getting for schools. I don't have any money for 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 supplies. I have no money for anything. And then you're 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 cutting down on 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 classes. So it, I, I'm teaching twice or three times as many kids as I were before. And then you're closing down schools and and like we're dying here. We need money you need to give us more money and then these uh, republicans and tea partiers say well uh you teachers need money and a raise well that's great i've got a few ideas number one how about we do a bake sale okay make some uh make some uh 
little cupcakes, maybe a maybe a maybe a pie. Here's the second idea. What if we as an entire state just do a yard sale? We can sell our old stuff to nearby states. Hey, hey, Colorado, uh, <laughs> check out this nice tractor. <laughs> because they won't pass any new taxes at all. So the the entire state is screwed. Uh, the teachers teachers haven't gotten any sort of pay increase since 1990. Yeah. So so they're finally sick of it. There's going to be a, a a walkout. Um. So a super major massive walkout starting on Monday and will last until question marks. So the, we are the lowest in the nation for teacher pay and. We are lowest in the nation to cuts to education. Mm -hmm. All of our best teachers have already moved to Texas, which is hilarious because when we were in Texas, there were a shit ton of teacher job billboards yeah. everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Like literally we were in Texas for about – we had been driving in Texas for about 10 minutes and next thing you know, there are these uh, billboards for – uh, are you a teacher? Do you need a job? Go to this website. There, there were teacher billboards everywhere because Texas knows their shit. <laughs> so, so the teachers are like, okay, we want, we want the the following things. We want one and two and three and four and five. These are the five things we want. So, about two days ago, finally, the the govern the the government of the state of Oklahoma said, fine. We'll give you numbers one and two, but not three and four and five. So uh, I hope you stupid teachers are finally going to go back to school. Also, all of you teachers will also be lunch ladies, bus drivers, and uh, uh, and yeah, have fun with that. You're also teaching first through eighth grade because we have no teachers. Basically, in Oklahoma right now, this is how it works. If you say, huh. I wonder if I want to, if maybe I should become a teacher. Immediately, a white van pulls up to your house, and uh, the governor bursts down your door, makes you sign an emergency teaching certificate, and sends you to a class to yeah. teach. We are leading the nation in emergency teaching certificates right now. Oh, Which man. I didn't even know the thing, um, but we're giving them out like they're uh, promotional keychains from a bank. I, <laughs> what though? I don't know if it's anything to do with anything, but I just thought I should state mm -hmm. that none of my teachers have uh, Monday off. Um. Yeah, all of the teachers are scheduled to work. That's why they're not working. Oh my! Like Miss uh, Lee was complaining about it. About what? That she had to work on Monday. Yeah, but having a walkout. So they would have to have work on the day they're having a walkout. Otherwise, they wouldn't be walking out. They would just have a day off. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. <clears throat> I've been worried, you know, yeah. it looks like the walkout's going to happen. We don't know how long it's going to happen. We don't know. The big question is like, what will Natasha and I, but primarily me though, since I'm the stay at home dad now. Since you are the most, the, you were the one who does the work. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm doing a huge chunk of the work here in the house. It's weird. But what will we do with the kids being at home for, indefinitely what will we be doing if the kids are going to be at home until question mark well this is my idea i still want the kids to learn yeah i still want these kids to be taught but also i lack the strength to homeschool them so this is what we're doing from monday on down through the week during the hours that these will you check to see what Eleanor is doing because she's over there being all quiet and anytime Eleanor is quiet yeah. you can't trust her um she has to have something Hello. what does she have what does she have she has, Christian Switch. she has Christian's Nintendo Switch 
Did you have it turned on? No. Okay. Jesus. I knew it, when when a one-year-old is quiet, when a one-and-a-half-year-old is quiet. That could have been a disaster. Yeah, that's when you know shit's going down. <laughs> um, so this is my plan. During the hours that the kids would be at school, so from 8 until like 2.30, you just dropped all of the glue sticks. We didn't need it anyway. Yeah, but the baby could get those glue sticks. She thinks they're freaking chapstick. Uh, and I, those need okay. to be picked up. I don't know how you're going to because of how they fell, but those need to be picked up. During the hours that the kids will be at school, so 8 a.m. to like 2.45, 3 o'clock, yeah. the TV will be on nonstop salty. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. These kids are going to learn. I mean, they're going to learn. About the love of Jesus. Kids, let's sing. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. No, Don't let Satan song. shit it out. I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> Don't let Satan shit it out. I'm going to let it shine. I will say this about Salty. I had a hard time understanding the words at times, especially in the beginning. Yeah. Especially in the opening. I believe they're singing. I'm a little praiser. I'm a Havilah eraser, and I like to lick six-inch balls. I'm pretty sure that's what they're saying. That's what I heard. I'm a little praiser. I'm a Havilah eraser, and I like to ex lick six-inch balls. Like, like these kids are professional Havilah exterminators. Yes. Like in the original Muppet movie, tell these boys what you do. Kill frogs. <laughs> Plus, I love any video like Salty that goes, okay, so this is what we need. We need a diverse group of kids. Diverse. We need a lot of diversity. So, okay, let's get some white kids. Now let's get some black kids, one Asian, and a ginger. Boom, we're done. That's yeah. all the races. <laughs> hey, you're not being too diverse. Oh, uh, yeah, we are. Look, we've got four blacks. Considering Christian shows, it was pretty diverse. Yeah, it was pretty diverse for a Christian show. Now, I know I'm probably wrong about this, but one of these kids looked just like the kazoo kid. Yes, he did. And yeah, he was, was the a, one was... the camera spent most of the time on him. Yeah, and, and he he was the bland white boy in the beginning that crouched under the nose when it came. Yes. Like the nose came all over him, and he's like, wah, wah, wah. Which was definitely weird. Seriously, Bunny, this video makes Veggie Tales look like Gigi Allen raping women on stage. <laughs> you like that? Because I got more. This video makes Chick Tracks look like uh, v for Vendetta and Watchmen had a baby. <laughs> for shit's sake. This video makes Carmen look like Joey Ramone sucking dick in an alley for drug money. <laughs> One more. This video makes Kirk Cameron look like I'm a warlock with tiger blood and Adonis DNA. Sure, I'm on a drug. It's called Salty Songs for Little Frasers. Duh, winning. <laughs> This video is amazing. Everybody should watch it. The husband and wife team of Dick and Evelyn, whatever the fuck their name is, they they are now the heads of worship at a giant California megachurch, which is great because now they're too busy to reboot Salty. Yes. So that's the best part about this homework. Um, and that is it for homework this well, week. And well, we well, hold on, hold on. I, again, I, I didn't, I didn't mind Salty so much. I mean, he was creepy. He was a talking blue yeah. book. He was a really yeah. creepy looking dude. And I did not like the idea that they seemed to have the nose captive. It was being held captive because it clearly yeah, it tried to run away. Breaking out. Yeah, it tried to run away and get away from their evil. Um. But other than that, it was not nearly as offensive as other Christian shows that we've seen. 
Here, Eleanor, sit here. Sit there. Sit there, Eleanor. That is a good point. It wasn't... It was... It could have been worse. Yeah. They they yeah. they sang Jesus songs. They talked about Jesus. Well, you know, that's what I expect out of a show like this, you know? It's not yeah. like Bible Man where they ran around singing songs about how science is wrong. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it was, no, it, it could have been much, just much worse. A crisp, it was just a Christian children's show. So yeah. I don't know. There's not much to say about Salty in that regard. It was, you know, like if you're a Christian and you have Christian kids, I would have to recommend this. Yeah. I think. Like a, like a, like, like a Christian The Wiggles. Yeah. It's not my thing, but if I was three, you know. Yeah. And I was in like the right mind frame like i'm i'm i might dig this yeah yeah so um, that's that that that's it that's all we really need to say yeah and and that is it for homework this week and we really legitimately hope that all of you out there in podcast land that your hearts minds and bladders have all been suitably opened Ah, but don't think. Thank you, Eleanor. Do that again. Ah, thank you, Eleanor. <laughs> but don't think that you're getting out of here that easily, Buck Chacho. Verbal copyright 2018, Reverend Steve and the Pope on Film Podcast. Don't forget next week's homework assignment. And for next week, next week we will be having a special double sized homework segment. Okay. Two bits of homework. And this is so important that next week we will not be having another installment of Steve's historical approximations, or SHAP, as I like to call it, so that we can have more room for next week's very important homework assignment. This is sounding because like next, it's going to be painful. Uh, it, it, no, no, it's going to be fun. Because next week, we will once again be watching and discussing the CW television show that will not fucking die, Supernatural. Okay, again Supernatural? Yes, and we will be watching two episodes of Supernatural. Originally, we were just going to watch one, but we've got to watch two. Okay. We won't be watching any epi just any episodes. We will be watching two episodes. The first one... And to be clear, they're they're nearing the end of season 13. So the first episode we will be watching is on Netflix. It's season five, episode nine. It is an episode called Changing Channels. Basically, a trickster god sucks the boys in, into a television set. Uh -huh. And they have to sort of work their way out through various TV shows and TV show tropes and game shows. They get stuck in a Japanese game show for a while. Okay. So it's Welcome to Pleasantville. Yeah, no, no, it's a really it's a really funny episode. So changing channels, and we are watching that because that will help with the main bit of homework that we will be focusing on next week. And that is the last, the latest episode of Supernatural, which was on last night. Uh, I'll probably send it to you, if not tonight, then tomorrow. It's an episode entitled Scooby Natural. Scooby Natural. Okay. I can go for that. It's about 80% animated. And uh, Sam and Dean and the boys get sucked into a television again into an actual episode of Scooby-Doo. Nice. That was the one thing that I that I was uh, that 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 I, I gave the show respect for, not just that they entered the Scooby-Doo world, but that no, it's an actual episode. 
it's an actual episode of the show, and I appreciated that. So next week, two episodes of Supernatural. Season 5, Episode 9, Changing Channels on Netflix, and the newest episode of Supernatural entitled Scooby Natural. That is next week. Double-sized homework. <laughs> Be sure and join us next week for a very special, once again, Supernaturally in supernatural episode of the pope on film mm -hmm. not only are these two pretty good episodes but also um uh i can say this because natasha's not here when we do supernatural episodes really brings in the chicks <laughs> so that's next week join us next week for more homework with the pope on film podcast and cut on that